Hello there, this is uh, Lord Eco, and uh, you might notice this is a bit different. I'm um, I'm showing you the uh, the people we're playing and the game modes we'll be playing and showing in this uh, in this little video and this commentary. And you also saw my um, my new intro or my uh, BO2 Productions intro. And I thought with this video, what I'll do is give a little bit of time at the start to uh, really explain what that's all about. So what I've uh, decided to do is uh, show you the game modes and who we're playing so you get a little bit of background info on what the game was about and how good they were um, and here we'll be playing Domination Afghan Domination. when we actually played this game this was just after we'd uh, we just finished being a CTF only clan and Catching really started to play RMG and these guys were playing were, were pretty decent and um, that's why we weren't really quite sure what we were doing yet and as you can see I'm I'm rushing as fast as I can over to the sea while uh, we've got managed to get onto a and you see we're using blast shields, we're definitely not playing any MLG kind of rule set yet. I was just trying to uh try and cause some trouble at sea. They've got the bare side to start with on this one, but you wanna get B and A really rather than C, but I'll talk about that in a bit. Here you can see that we've just we were just trying to fly over C for a bit and try and uh Try and get the caps down, get those points down. But on on Afghan, what you tend to find that if you have C, and if you're all over here, getting to A is really difficult because you will start spawning on cliffside. And there's only one way then, which is as I just did there, is down. And uh, it's so easy to spawn trap up there; it's, it's unreal. So as I said before, we we weren't really an RMG team at this point. We were still just a CTF, just playing uh, an RMG because it was 5v5s and usually when a 5v5 game you, you tend to play weaker players so we're just putting our foot into the water kind of thing just testing out what was what was happening and uh, and so we, uh, we we started playing this uh, this game mode and it's uh, it was quite interesting I thought we, uh, we learned a lot from it we learned about map control and domination and domination is one of my, my favourite game modes now it's, it's I think it's one that needs the most teamwork and also uh, one where it's, it's a lot about skill rather than luck so I'm uh, I'm trying to ferret between A and C trying to keep running back between them and it's, this is the this is why it's such a bad situation because they can easily kill someone at A and it'll just take you so long to get there from C or vice versa the, and you really we really need to get B really and try and flip these so that they cap C and we cap B um, but there's not much we can really do about it as I said we weren't very experienced at this we weren't really sure what we were doing we were trying to kind of I like to think of it as a bully game where you're just trying to you're trying to get the kills enough kills to win the game rather than any amount of skill or, or little spots you know it's more like you just rely on the fact that you can kill them better than they can kill you and that's kind of what, that's kind of how we, we used to play RMG before we really knew what was going on. We just rely on the fact that our gun skills uh, are decent. We could beat most teams with our gun skills, but now, because we know how to control the maps, we really work better as a team together, and uh, we do we do have some some good games. Another reason why I chose this uh, is because it's it's quite a close game throughout. You can you can see that. The scores, it's never totally one-sided, it's, you can, it's kind of goes back and forth, you never know really who's going to win and it's, it's quite interesting, it's, it's a nice game and we know these guys, they were second on the hardcore ladder last season, they were pretty good, I can't believe I'm running painkiller here. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, uh, it was a long time ago as you saw, it's, this game was from the 6th of November, so over two months ago now, so that's an that's a age and in game battles terms, but it's it's uh, I still like to keep them, still like to watch them from time to time, see where where we can improve and stuff. So I'm moving down onto A, put some pressure here, and it looks like we're we're going for an A kind of push, um, trying to get into a nice position where I can see that big bunker on the side, and we uh, we managed to get three of us I think onto it. Which is quite nice, and then but this is the problem. See, I've got to now run all the way back to C because nobody's there because it, everyone's just died. You spawn them all over by A. You're rushing back to C, 
was what we could have done is left C, rush over to B, so if they did start capping C, they didn't have anyone back to uh, to cover B or not enough and we can, we can get A and B down, which would uh, which would be the best situation really. We've, uh, we've managed to lose A again, so we're now spawning up on cliffside and you really you really don't want to do that, you really want to it's so hard coming down from that cliff to, to get into a good position on B to cap it you see one of our teammates got into small bunker which is that's great, you want one in small bunker you want to be covering that one side, I think someone threw smokes uh, which is sometimes useful, sometimes just getting your way a little bit like you can't really see where they're going to be coming from and it's hard to hard to move over there but they've started to get onto C now, so I think I'm going to start pushing around. Yeah, pushing around to A. Um, C just continuously moving across, even though one of us has managed to get onto C. I'm just going to try and keep them back there. Make sure they're there. If they come towards this big bunker, I'm going to get them. But unfortunately, I die. There's not much I can do. I'm just trying to call out if anyone's by A or if they're coming this way. Now you see, I've spawned up on C. This is the problem with C, is you'll spawn up here, and if they cap in B, you're so far away that unless you've got a frag, you're really not going to be able to take them down. Um, so yeah, so I managed to get up on this plane, uh, up on the middle plane, and I'm just looking around. Just trying to try and get some map control down, it looks like. I'm trying to think of a way that I could stand where they would have to come past me to get to the next point. So here we've managed actually to do the best situation, which is get A and B. Now this is this is what we want. Uh, I'm stopping people from jumping down that cliff so quickly. I'm going to move to the back of A to make sure they're not coming around behind us. And with these five v fives, what's interesting about them is you will hardly ever all five of you die. So you you always got that one person who can get that semtex onto B or that that saving frag grenade. The clutch frag, and uh, that's what's so enjoyable about it. It's, I think it's much, there's much more action involved, and you get these three v threes, and you can all die, and then they can just all get onto B. And it, whereas in this, it's 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 much more. You can have two people at each one, one person in the middle. You can set up proper nice spots on it. And I know a lot of people don't like playing five v fives. They prefer three v threes and four v fours. But I actually, uh, I prefer these five v fives. I think that they uh, get more in as a team, and you you really have to work together. You can't just you, even though we're trying it here, you can't really just get carried on gun skill. You have to work as a as a really effective team. And everyone has to know their role and what they're what they're planning to do. So here with a with a class setup of uh, of this FAMAS, I'm going for the long range shots. This is probably this is probably the nice. The, the kind of the best set for me at this point. We don't really need too many uh, submachine guns. You just want to try and keep them at bay, try and keep them as far back as possible. Just shoot them at distance, rather than if you we were, if it was the other way around and we were, we were losing. I'd probably be UMP lightweight, running in, trying to get onto each flag, while my uh, my friends would be running past me with. Uh, lightweight stopping power, or no, marathon stopping power, getting over the top and stopping them from getting at me. So that's what I mean. You you got you got your what I like to think of your the captures, the objective players, and then the blockers, and they're like the the slayers who go past you towards their spawn to to block off their their routes to get to you. This is quite effective, and you see this guy lying on there. What are you doing? Um, it's kind of it's quite effective. As I said, this we were we were a CTF clan. This is this from us. It's not very organised. Uh, we didn't really have certain roles to play. We were just kind of all doing our own thing. And I think you can really tell that you can tell the difference between uh, games where we're much more organised than this, as we're just we're not really quite sure what we're doing. We're uh, we're also getting to the point now soon where. Uh, they need all three flags to win. Pretty much, it's it's not quite there, but it's 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 getting there. Really, thirty points in it with with a minute left. You you pretty much got to get all three to win. And uh, you can be content and just sit on B and just not let them get there with five people. That'd be easy. 
but we like to uh, to push it and try and get a try and get a nice win on it rather than just sitting back and just not bothering over the, the offense at all the last stages. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, Afghan. I have to say is one of my least favorite maps for domination. It's probably one of my least favorite maps for any kind of uh, any kind of game mode. Really, I think it's it's too it's too big. It's the spawns are terrible, and um, I just think it's not that good a map really. But uh, if you do play it, you want to get A and B. You want to keep spawning them up at C. Find the spawn trap. You want to know. You want to have. A, you want each person to have a role, and mainly you just want to uh, just sit back in long distance and take them out when they come to you. Anyway, this is uh, Lord Eco. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully, make some more, and I hope that you uh, enjoy the new graphics that I've put into it. And let me know what uh, what you think. Thank you very much.